How's it going? I'm Ryan Lewis. We are in studio wrapping up White Walls, the music video. A lot of people have inquired about how this whole thing works. How does it happen? What is our process? And so I'm here to, to take the lid off of it. You know, White Walls was meant to be a summertime video that's entertaining and random and fun. And it was, you know, a 14 day music video shoot that has now come down to five minutes. And I'm excited to share with you how it all happened. The idea for White Walls was surrounding something we thought was interesting about Cadillacs, which is that it has a wide variety of owners. A wide variety of owners. You've got all these different types of people that have nothing in common with each other, yet all love this luxury automobile. So the idea behind the video was to kind of show these micro stories of different Cadillac owners um, and then actually have the people come together at the end and interact with each other in kind of a comic way, which fulfilled two things. It, it kind of observed the weirdness of the range of Cadillac owners, but then it also opened up the door for you know a barbecue and a pool party and you know having two people that would never be hanging out hang out together and, and weird stuff that was gonna be super entertaining. So I think White Walls had its own set of challenges. It was one of those videos that, um, that it was simple shots, but extremely complicated to produce because you have 12 different Cadillacs. You have um, somebody that needs to look like they're in Miami, somebody that needs to look like uh, you know they're in these different places that are all still feeling kind of like summertime. That's heavily where, where Voda came in. Um, executive producer Josh Courtney, and then you know a strong team of producers that were doing these things very last second. You know, in six hours we're gonna need a new Cadillac and wherever. So that really made this this video happen, um, ex expanding help on the production front. So our crew has almost always used. Steady cams for videos in the past. That was sort of our norm. That's what we got used to. And White Walls was the first time that we got to try something different, which was a new product called the Movi. And this is a pretty amazing thing. It worked very, very well for this shoot. So Ryan, for the most part, has been the guy holding the Movi, which I tried once today and it didn't really work out. It has a gimbal in it. What else does it have? The digital three-axis gimbal. A digital three-axis gimbal. And what this means is that, unlike a steady cam where you have the steady cam operator and then somebody pulling focus, this is actually a three-man operation where one person is holding it and moving it, kind of really just doing height and left and right. Another person is on this remote. We have Corey. Okay. And they've been Thanks. trading off. Yeah, or just mm -hmm. throw it in the who's watching it and turning it. And then you have another person who's pulling focus. So to me, with the three-person operation, with the fact that you can run with the Movi, you can hang it from a rope, you can be in the back of a car, and it stays completely steady. It's been, it's been a dream come true for this video. We've done probably 80% of the video on a Movi, and um, I'm lucky to be one of the first people to give it a shot. We shot white walls entirely on reds, which has become our standard. It's what we shot Can't Hold Us, Same Love, Thrift Shop, Tour Videos. Um, reds have become our, our tried and true. And that's for a lot of reasons. I mean, I think you can look at our relationship with them. Um, being you know, a small company that makes an incredible product. They're also just a, a company of integrity and a company that stepped up and wanted to be involved in us just running out and shooting these random videos. They supplied us with cameras that stood the heat of uh, being out in the sun all day for White Walls, cameras that 
uh, stood up in the snow and through the sand and the dust of Camp Holdus. There are cameras that we have had very, very few problems with and will continue to use in the future. Here you have the Macklemore crew, the tried and true video producers. You have Hannah, who wow. started off this whole video trying to find cars, trying to find <laughs> locations, and has teamed with Voda to execute this absolutely ridiculous long 14-day shoot. This is Zach. Zach technically is my manager, but in the last couple of weeks, <laughs> he's, he's switched gears a little bit. He's been dealing with a lot of cars, a lot of locations. He's also been dealing with a lot of rappers, which is, he's just the best at. You have, you have kind of three crews coming together. Macklemore, Voda, and Movi, and then obviously shooting on Red. So, enjoy the video.